All right, for more on this, let's bring in Tariq Farhadi, who is a former advisor to the Afghan government. He joins me now live from uh, Geneva. Tariq, good to have you on the show, as always. Yes, um, the aid is helping the Afghan people, but is it humanitarian assistance just, um, for lack of a better word uh, or, or way to put it, a, a Band-Aid? I mean, this is not really a sustainable equilibrium. Uh, that's correct. Uh, for a country of 39 million people, most of the population falling in poverty, half of it uh, in a hunger situation, humanitarian aid is not going to be the solution uh, because it would be handouts after handouts after handouts and uh, no solution at the end of the day. Um, uh, what Afghanistan needs, it's its, it's own economy to uh, the economy to pick up and uh, to create jobs and uh, the situation, political situation, to get better so it can create some linkages with the international community so investments could come into the country. Unfortunately, the um, um, recent security situation has deteriorated. There have been attacks in Herat, Western Afghanistan, and uh, Kabul, uh, yesterday, Russian embassy. And although the Taliban might be able to secure embassies, uh, with uh, effort, but now private businesses are wondering if uh, for uh, foreign uh, nationals to go and work in Afghanistan, it is safe to be in Afghanistan. Um, when it comes to humanitarian aid, you said uh, it's not the solution. I mean, when you sort of look at the Taliban's restrictions on, on civil society, I'm wondering how uh, the international community, mainly the West, has to come up, or how do they come up with more creative policies to, to alleviate some of the suffering uh, without helping the Taliban by also growing the economy, by also creating jobs? It's a difficult task. In fact, the World Bank just came out with a report uh, yesterday, and it talked about the increased unemployment amongst the youth, about, amongst the educated youth, um, because really jobs are created by the private sector, and the private sector is depressed the banking sanctions on Afghanistan have really uh, done damage. Uh, for the West, um, I feel the West is also turning its attention to Ukraine with all the um, uh, possibilities it has, uh, financial possibilities. And what is left for Afghanistan is really uh, a small portion of aid that uh, prevents Afghanistan from a disaster. Um, so the solutions would have to come from Afghans. There has to be some reforms by the Taliban uh, so that uh, Afghan uh, investors themselves, who have a lot of money abroad, uh, bring back their money and start enterprise. Tariq, you mentioned uh, the security situation, so I do want to ask you about that. Yes, you know, when the Taliban came in, they came in with the promise of actually securing the country. They have done that to some extent, but we are... Uh, seeing a rise in attacks most recently, uh, you had mentioned. Uh, how does this play into uh, the situation? Yes, two types of security trouble. In the borders, areas of Pakistan, for instance, there is uh, difficulties with TTP operating there. Pakistan is not happy in the north. Uzbekistan uh, is fighting some of the groups that are against them. Uh, the Iranian border is not always uh, stable. And uh, now uh, the, the Daesh and other small groups that have turned against Taliban, perhaps years ago they were fighting with Taliban, but now they have turned okay. against Taliban and they're attacking uh, the Taliban themselves. The impression of uh, lack of security is okay, increasing. Tariq, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I do have to, uh, to, to cut you off there. Thank you very much for joining us on the news hour.